people squat for so many reasons. Um, but primarily, it's because they don't have adequate alternatives. Market assessment of uh, in Jamaica in 2008 found that there were about 500,000 squatters. I want to know what is the government's five point or four point plan for addressing informal settlements that are beset by poor housing, sewage, water woes, and you know, having standpipes and uh, pit toilets in those communities. I, I don't know if you can have a four or a five point plan, um, but. But let me answer you in this way. One, um, I start with the understanding that squatting is more than a location. And what I always do is try to get up out of the AC room and go to the space so you appreciate what is there, why it's there. People squat for so many reasons. Um, but primarily it's because they don't have adequate alternatives or have not availed themselves of adequate alternatives. It becomes a generational handicap and there are several socioeconomic variables that are connected to squatting, not just a housing solution. So the solution to squatting is more than just from the Ministry of Housing going in and saying, well, we would like to either improve your community or move you or help you building material. It's much more than that. It has to be um, attacking it from all different angles, understanding that we have to create sustainable communities. That terminology you know, requires you to understand the need for health and education and, and, and employment opportunities um, and letting the persons know that they are valued as citizens of the country. So our ultimate goal at the ministry is to develop a resilient society, climate resilient and otherwise, but to develop sustainable communities to, to be able to have our people reside in those kind of spaces. We have started the survey, as I told you earlier, and that survey will give us the data to assist us to be able to analyze and make decisions that are most sensible unsustainable and so once we receive that information and even before receiving it we have integrated now into our housing policy aspects that should help us to cauterize squatting firstly so you want to do a number of things at once do the survey help to cauterize the the, the expansion of any squatting wherever there is squatting now um Use HAJ and other relevant agencies to go in where we where we need to do so right now um, to to start the rehabilitation and revitalization of these communities and we've do, we're doing that. There are spaces in Clarendon and across the country where HAJ has gone in and, and has built infrastructure, put in the water, put in the put in the other fundamental and basic necessities for people to be able to live. Um, and we actually looked now on some spaces in Montego Bay, where we, we will be partnering with other institutions and agencies, even the Tourism Enhancement Fund, to go in and to revitalize spaces. All of these things are happening while we're still doing the survey, because we, we can't, as a government, say, well, we're going to fold our hands until we complete the survey. No, we're doing a number of things towards the ultimate outcome of creating a sustainable community. Um, Another thing that we are doing um, as it relates to the squatting is to utilize that integrated task force that I speak about to develop now the policies that will not only cauterize the expansion of squatting, but put in place systems that we can allocate in our budget and, and, and put in place in terms of the legislation and how we program now going forward, um, contemplating the next 10 to 15 to 20 years that will transition us into proper housing solutions for everyone. Right? That is why, as I said to the PM, needs is critical to me. People don't make the connection, but until we get control of our information, we won't be able to plan properly. 
that's why it's something that needs is so critical to, to properly identify who and how many persons you have where. Right? So that we can be able now from the Ministry of Housing to make the necessary projections, not just for one or four years, but make projections for a, a medium term that will move us in phases towards our ultimate goal, which is safe, legal, affordable, and now we take on to it resilient housing solutions for everyone.